This project is about micro-credentials for machine learning, and it's two of us going for it. So my partner is uh, Professor Matas, and my name is, as I said, uh, Boris Flach, and uh, uh, we are both involved in teaching machine learning. And let me maybe start with the starting situation here at, at Faculty of Electrical Engineering, uh, CTU, or maybe I would call it status quo. So we have two, among others, we have two well-established compulsory machine learning courses in the study program, Open Informatics. And the format of both is uh, very similar, lectures, seminar assignments with theoretical assignments and practical homeworks. And uh, both of them have been read uh, online in 2020, 2021. Uh, so the one uh, uh, Professor Matas, Jerzy Matas is reading is uh, the left one called Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning. It's compulsory in the bachelor. And you see here a, a part of the syllabus. And uh, the other lecture I'm, we are speaking about is statistical machine learning in masters, which is read by me. And again, you see uh, a part of the syllabus, right? And if you compare them both, you see that uh, there are some, some overlaps. However, the two courses are quite different in their, in their so to say, goals, maybe. Uh, so the bachelor course uh, is discussing much more approaches, much more concepts. And, and explaining how to work with them, whereas the statistical machine learning is covering less concepts, but goes more in depth and looks on it from the, from the statistical pers perspective. So this is the current situation. And now we too uh, took this, uh, this uh, Eurotech uh, initiative as a um, yeah, triggering point to look, uh, to, to apply for a project. And I mean, we all know that the money wise, it's not so big, right? And so I think that it's perfectly okay to have also some egoistic or internal project goals. And so let me start with them. Uh, we, want, uh, we want our internal goal is to, is to so to say, make, make these two courses more better aligned, maybe, right? So of course, they will keep their characteristics. One is more in width, more wide, more breadth. The other one is more in depth. But still, we want to think about, about fine tuning and changing and, and, and maybe even shifting. Uh, some things from, from one course to the other. Okay, these are our uh, egoistic project goals. Now let's come to the altruistic project goals. And here we look on machine learning from the perspective of students who are studying engineering, uh, not, not computer science, informatics, but uh, engineering sciences or maybe even other sciences, right? And you all know that uh, currently, it's more and more so that uh, machine learning is becoming important in almost all engineering sciences. And um, so a student uh, studying one of these directions uh, might ask herself, hmm, what do I need to know about machine learning and how deep and how much? If I'm studying, say, transportation sciences, Earth, sciences, bio, bio, biology or biomedicine or electrical engineering. And this is where we want to step in and to go uh, and to go for um, micro credentials. So we want to, at the same time, when trying to make our courses more compatible internally, we want to also identify and design teaching blocks and related micro credentials. And so each teaching block will consist in online lectures, theoretical assignments, and practical assignments, and consultation. And uh, then we want to prepare and bundle all these uh, necessary teaching materials. And uh, moreover, we want to make uh, those blocks composable to some sensible stacks. 
and they should be combinable across the two courses. Okay, and in future maybe uh, uh, we can think about extending such a machine learning micro credit system to the Eurotech level. Okay, thanks for your attention.